San Antonio is the host city of a very special event that honors the recipients of the Distinguished Medal of Honor. I learned more about this meaningful celebration. I'm joined by Dan Pedrotti Jr. He is the president and CEO of the Congressional Medal of Honor Society. Thanks for being here. And Nicole Winslow, the lead counselor at Southwest Legacy High School. Welcome to you both. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm looking forward to talking about this. Dan, tell me about the upcoming Congressional Medal of Honor Society convention and celebration and what it means for San Antonians. So um, we were asked about two years ago by the Congressional Medal of Honor Society uh, the board of directors, is, which is comprised entirely of Medal of Honor recipients, to put together a plan and execute a plan to host their annual convention here in San Antonio for the first time, by the way. You know, we're very, very honored and privileged to have them here in Military City USA. Absolutely. Add to our brand, and, and we know that San Antonians are delighted uh, and honored uh, to have them here. And we get the chance to show the recipients and their guests um, all San Antonio has to offer. And we get a chance to show San Antonio the recipients. We've got events planned throughout the week from an event at uh, the Quadrangle at Fort Sam Houston to uh, a memorial service at the Alamo to a grand gala called the Patriot Awards Gala um, at the Henry B. Gonzalez Stars of Night Ballroom. And ultimately, we wrap up with a chariata. You also want to emphasize that the Medal of Honor Society's character development program is very important. How is that being implemented in local curricula? So the character development program is, uh, in fact, a curriculum, like you said. Um, it's a very robust one developed by teachers for teachers by the society over the, the last 20 years or so. Um, and it ultimately is offered free of charge to schools that were willing to adopt it and implement it. Um, and it, the training is free and the ongoing support is free, including a recipient visit from time to time, uh, one of these brave men, uh, these iconic uh, Medal of Honor recipients. Ultimately, the intent is to, to help kids live happier, more successful lives. And Nicole, that's where she steps in as a counselor at Southwest Legacy High School. You guys are implementing this character development program into your school's 9th and 12th through 12th graders. What does it mean to you to have this and how have you seen this make an impact? So the curriculum is being introduced to our students at the high school because they're at pivotal points in their life where they're starting high school or finishing high school and they're having um, to choose a path and they have obstacles and struggles that they have to overcome to ultimately achieve their goals. And you're going to be hosting one of the Medal of Honor recipients at Southwest Legacy High School pretty soon here. Tell me about this honor and how can people find more information as well about all of this? So we're having an event on Wednesday, October 2nd, and we have a Medal of Honor recipient coming to visit our students. We have um, our band students, our ROTC, our mariachi, our cheer, our dance, um, ready to welcome them. And they're going to be meeting with our students to, 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 so that they can hear the real life stories of, um, of the Medal of Honor recipients. They've watched um, some of the living stories that are just really raw and impactful on, the, on their videos, and now they're going to get to see it in the real life. Dan, how can people continue to support and get more information? So the host committee is going to continue to work with the character development program and the local schools um, across the county and in the surrounding communities. Um, and we will continually have outreach uh, to the community for both financial support as well as sort of spiritual support, if you will. Uh, join the team, help us get it out there, let your schools know that you've heard about it, put them in contact with us. We have a website, it's cmohssatx. Dot org. All right. Well, there's a lot of information there. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you very much. We really appreciate it.